Hi. So, I almost died on this exact same date last year. And I'm actually happy it happened because it completely changed my life. I'm Kimani Hall and welcome to my channel, Hauling This Together. I'm a 24 year old self-taught pastry chef, a virtual assistant, slash content creator and i am going through a quarter life crisis <laughs> okay fine no i'm not actually going through a quarter life crisis but that near-death experience did have me thinking a lot about my life where i was where i wanted to be and how to get there <laughs> If I'm being completely honest with you, that reflection moment was super hard. It was not fun, but it did trigger something in me or reignite the passion for self-discovery. And I started a mission to not just have a dream life, but to find ways in which I could embody live and make that my reality okay so you already saw the thumbnail you already saw the title of the video and so you already know we're having a rebrand we are changing the path changing the types of videos or more so improving the types of videos that will be posted on this channel if i'm being completely honest with you though this feels like a natural shift from what we used to post to what we will start posting and you know what instead of me telling you let me show you so let's take a little trip down memory lane okay so when i just created this channel in 2018 i believe it was mainly for me to one get comfortable on the internet two showcase my skill my journey from you know learning the basic stuff related to cakes to where i am or where i was a year ago before i stopped baking um so that was the main point and hopefully i would have taught a few things by showing you know tutorials on my cakes and my decorating so that was the first thing that was golden with j and then two years ago i decided that i wanted to make a change here's coming here the face behind golden whisk and welcome or welcome back to my channel like saying that the realization just licked me a while ago so that might be the last time i say that intro i don't know how i feel about that. so that change turn this channel into a haul in this together and yes i'm keeping the name i wanted that change because i wanted to have a space where i didn't just showcase my baking or document that part of my life but i wanted to be able to document other parts of my life that were not related to baking and that i did so that's pretty much what the channel has been for the past two years now it's still going to be hauling this together except i'm bringing you all in a little bit more so that we can be in this together more <laughs> and i know you're probably thinking kimani are you confused or maybe you do actually see the progression and why it has progressed and that's fine whether you're on this side or that side it's completely okay but in my three years of university the only thing i can remember <laughs> is this quote that says the only constant in life is change and so it's okay to change it's okay to evolve it's okay to re-strategize and you know tweak things and that's exactly what we're doing we're doing a tweak now a few weeks ago i actually posted a very nervous story on my instagram where i was asking you guys well my followers which if you aren't following me on instagram then please please go and check my page out. The link will be in the description box. If you're not interested, that's okay too. Um, but I do post on there more frequently and more of my day-to-day -day life than I do on YouTube. So if you're interested in any of that, then you might want to check it out, just maybe. Anyways, I posted a very nervous poll and series of stories on there where I was explaining to you guys how I was feeling, how I was thinking about the rebrand, and I wanted to know your input if this would be something you'd be interested in or not. I wanted to know if you guys would want to continue with me on my life journey, getting all the steps 
to where I want to go or if you would prefer to see the results after I've gotten there. Many, many of you, I don't remember the percentage right now, but many of you said that you wanted to see the journey first then and so that's what we're doing. The people asked, Kimani is here to deliver. And if that was not enough, like I've been thinking about this rebrand since last, oh my gosh, it's not me. I've been thinking about this since like last October and I did the videos, I did everything and I was so in my head and so nervous nervous about it so I did not upload any of it but I kept getting the urge to do the, the rebrand and do this change but I kept trying to ignore it because I'm like who's going to listen to me who cares like nobody really cares so when I posted it on Instagram and everybody was like yeah do it whatever um there were a few people who were like yeah don't do that don't show your life online don't whatever technically I've been doing it for the past many years anyways so it's not that strange it's not that like you know whatever um but about a week ago i did this thing called a human design so it pretty much tells you who you were created to be um you know from an astrological sense um and what your purpose in life should be it was so freaky that when i read what my purpose in life was it actually completely aligned with this channel and i'm like oh my god <laughs> And so if the poll on Instagram wasn't enough motivation, this definitely was. And I just told myself all fears, all insecurities, all negative thoughts aside, and I'm going to do this because who knows where I'll be 10 years from now and would have loved to have documented the progress. And I know you're probably thinking, yeah, I get all of that. It kind of makes sense. But like, why do you want to rebrand? Why do you want to do all of this? Like, what's your reason behind it? For me personally, where I am now in my life and where I was at age 18 or age 16 or you know even a year ago, it's completely different. And I feel like a lot of the things that I've been through, I've had to you know experience, figure out on my own. If I had someone there that lived a similar life or had similar interests, um, who did something kind of like a mentor, but not really, or a coach, but not really. Just saying, I'm no certified life coach or personal mentor or anything like that if you want to take me as such feel free <laughs> but i'm just saying um but if i had someone like that that was you know on a personal level that figured it out and shared some insights then it would have made my life so much easier and i feel like half of the crap that i did mistakes i made time that i wasted if i had someone to guide me or had someone around me to be like oh i aspire to be like that then it would have been completely different so that's I'm, I'm doing this for my younger self and other people like my younger self who wish they had someone like the now me the next reason for this is because everywhere on the internet everywhere in our lives you see people when they're at their 100 oh i'm a millionaire oh i have 10,000 businesses oh my gosh i've been traveling the world whatever but you see where they are and they tell you about where they're coming from but there is no proof that they actually did that or how they did that the mistakes they made the steps they made the risks they took you hear about it but i'm a visual learner so i prefer to see things and be like ah i can see the progression i can see how you were a year ago and how you are now as opposed to just hearing about when you used to sleep on the floor in your mother's basement my third reason is I love when I'm unintentionally inspiration to somebody else. Like when I was documenting my entire recovery and being in the hospital and that situation, um, so many persons texted me or sent a comment or whatever way of reaching out to me. And they were very inspired by my strength whatever that means <laughs> or they really loved watching how i was broken literally and figuratively and how i actually healed or mended um throughout the process <laughs> if that makes sense so a lot of people even now even though that was like a year ago still messaged me saying how impactful that was for their lives and how motivational it was or how i inspired them to actually get through whatever situation they were going through and that is very fulfilling to know okay so my main goal in my life which will also be my main goal on this channel or that will be showcased on this channel 
is is creating a balanced fulfilled and happy life that you know is my dream life and i will be doing that through organization and productivity now you're thinking kimani Hmm. how are you going to create a balanced life oh my gosh no i get it i know you know i know life is very multifaceted like there are so many things that make up life we can't control it all and that is completely 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 fine but through my years of research i have come across this lady who's on youtube amy landino and she has this concept that there are seven main pillars of life and i love her seven pillars other research is like they say 13 or they'll give whatever but there are some overlap in many of those that have like a higher number but i love her seven and it seems to cover everything that you'd want it to cover and so that will be my focus and our focus on this channel focus on building each part of our life and when it comes together hopefully <laughs> remember this is trial or error so hopefully it will bring some form of balance so you won't just be seeing cakes and cooking videos anymore and you won't just be seeing vlogs and me being crazy annoying with my family and friends you will see <laughs> You will see those mixed in now and again, but it will be mainly focused around this new journey. If I'm being very honest with you, technically I have been showcasing my journey. Like you've seen me as a pastry chef, you've seen me as a crazy person, and now you're seeing me as an organized, productive, crazy person. <laughs> but that's okay. You've seen me through my recovery, my accident, all the things that has happened through that year you've seen me grieving mourning my grandmother like you've seen it all so i have been uploading all these things anyway so there's not too much of a shift compared to that first rebrand however it will be a lot more structured so that it will be more beneficial than just entertainment if that makes sense okay so enough about my quarter life crisis all the things that have happened let's talk about what you can expect okay so as i mentioned before you still will see that was hard to see you will still see all the vlogs a few cooking cake stuff whatever it is that you know i feel might be a little bit lighter to post on here but most of the content will be around those seven pillars and linked to organization and productivity so we'll be diving into a lot about mindset because to be very honest with you i feel like that is one of the top factors in if you'll stay where you are right now or if you will actually go after the life that you desire because without that mindset shift you'll feel like you can't do it like you're stuck in whatever phase of your life you're currently in and it's just where a lot of our issues are we'll talk about career ways to improve you know things that are career related whether you're running a business or you have a nine to five that's fine whatever career means to you we'll be covering that and naturally career is linked to finances so all the saving challenges all the advice about investments which I need some for myself <laughs> just about everything finance related and then of course you have spirituality where we'll tap into how to connect with that greater one whatever that means to you we'll talk about relationships and building those whether platonic or intimate we'll also cover your legacy which is pretty much what you'll be remembered by when you're gone and also what people will know you for while you're still here and then obviously obviously you can't have a balanced life without covering health mental and physical so that's pretty much all the categories all the things that you can kind of expect going forward okay so we've talked about all of that and we've talked about going after the life you want and we've also talked about the different areas of your life that we'll be building in order to have that balanced life and i know you're probably thinking oh my gosh i don't have time how do you have time um my life is already full how can i incorporate all these other things to focus on this area of my life and that area of my life and i'm here with a fix if you're interested in ways in which you can make more time so that you can make less excuses for things you actually want to do in your life to go after that desire 
bird life then you might want to stick around and check out next week's video because that will be the topic of discussion talk about ways in which you can make more time as i give you my top tips for time management so if you're interested then stick around because that will be the next video on the agenda so that's it for this video if you made it to the end then thank you but just remember do something today that will help you to be a little bit better than you were yesterday